So I think um, the new approaches, before we even go there, the big thing is trying to figure out if our patients are our candidates for intensive therapy. And the one big push that's coming from the AML community is to not define someone's candidacy for treatment based on their age. So there's the biological age and there's the phenotypic age. And we know patients um, that are healthy, that are over the age of 60 or 65, we still want to give them an intensive chemotherapy. But then the other thing we want to look at besides their their biologic and uh, phenotypic age is um, what is the biology of their disease? We now have a lot of data that shows that certain types of chemotherapies are not, um, our intensive chemotherapies are not um, um, active in patients that have biologically poor prognoses like the TP53 mutation um, AML. So taking those two things into account, I think that the current landscape is one, looking at the age, um, and then two, looking at the biology of the disease. And right now, based on the VLEA and the VLEC trials, um, HMA-based uh, therapy with venetoclax or low-dose itarabine with venetoclax is the upfront um, therapy. But again, just like I said, um, with the other, uh, with the ivo aza combination, the goal is to find resistant populations of patients and have novel therapies um, for them. So ba based off of uh, the data we have right now, I think it's venetoclax azacitidine, but new triplet combinations, new um, triplet combinations using inhibitor therapies with things like gilteritinib upfront are probably where this field is headed.